I have with me here uh, former Prime Minister Dev Gowda ji. So, what is the, your your opinion about the farmers' issue that has gripped Delhi and around and the three farm laws that has uh, 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 that is what is catching most of the attention? Uh, Though cent farmers' issue has become a central issue in India after a long, long time. The three, three legislations, which was cleared in Lok Sabha, and then without giving any time, in Rajya Sabha they have taken for the clearance. Knowing full well there is no majority in Rajya Sabha, they want to push the bills. That is the major issue on that day what has happened. In Rajya Sabha, I have never seen in my life in the last sixty years. It is the first time such a highest of its institution, Rajya Sabha. Things went down so badly, and now subsequently, the farmers also have nearly more than two and a half months peaceful agitation. On the Republic Day, what happened? I don't know. Whether any miscreants are responsible, or what exactly the events that took place, what exactly the reason the Home Minister has removed the entire thing, I think the same issue is going to come tomorrow in the Parliament. On the day when this bill was moved, all the three bills, I made my. Commitment to the farmers, and my speech has been published. So no question of letting down the farmers' interest. I being I myself being a farmer, I fought for the farmers throughout my life. That's why let us see what things are going to happen. Prime Minister has given a call that all the assurance given by the Agriculture Minister, Mr. Tomar. Will also I will stand by that, and Supreme Court decision also will stand by that. And what next is that the UP? What has happened? The guys, Rakesh Singh, the guys, the Mahapanchayat is with the great uh, majority. The farmers are assembled there. So they are further continuing the agitation. So Prime Minister also made an appeal. I don't know. Let us see how things are going to be finally take place. Yes. Sir, all the opposition parties have come together and they have opposed the president's uh, speech a uh, couple of days back. Uh, what will be the strategy? Also, not going to that group. Kerala. Unity is. We are with left parties. Now in Karnataka, it's a different scenario. The Congress wants to remove Kumar Swami's government. They succeeded. So now that is the main issue that has happened to have a rift with Congress. That's why I told when the left parties are in that delegation. So I consulted the Kerala unit, and I also abstained from attending the parliament. Sir Kumar Swami ji has been saying about that uh, uh, that he may form the government in Karnataka. He is uh, he is little hopeful. Do what what is your suggestion on that? All the work, all the development works are the several works decisions he has taken for the farmers. He gave nearly twenty six thousand crores. For whom? It's for the poor farmers. So there are so many issues. Even though there is so much of restriction by the Congress, so that is one of the major confidence for him to fight the battle and come to power. That is the issue. Sir, one last question. The Prime Minister has said uh, the Prime Minister has said that his doors are open. His doors are open for uh, any discussion. That is what he has said. That is what. But some people have agreed. Some uh, farmers' union have not agreed. That is where things stands. Let us see how things will take shape after the deliberations in Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. 
Now I will also be there. We are not going to let down the farmers. Download Tarang online radio app from Google Play Store. You are listening to Tarang Devotional Online Radio.